a few more days until Eagles training camp. And hopefully in a few days, we'll get these Kelly Green uniforms <laughs> sooner or later. Because I feel like, you know, after the tease they gave us the other day on these Kelly Greens, they showed some, like, obviously some old games and um, the history of just the uniforms in general. Kind of like a tease. Like, they put that video out for, video out for a specific reason. And it just pissed me off more that today we got absolutely nothing because of it. Or at least the last couple of days, whatever it was. Um, so I want to talk about, obviously, that, you know, and obviously what's going on with the Kelly Green uniforms updated as of right now. And, uh... I want to talk about the running back position in general too, just because of the you know difference between the spending on Miles Sanders going to the Carolina and like versus the Eagles and what they're spending this year and how excited we are for this running back core going into this year and um, just want to kind of shed some light on all of that. So let's get straight into it. Yo, what is going on, guys? Hope you're heaven. Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk today. I don't know. Today's just one of those days I can't say a sentence without messing anything up. So um, I hope everyone's enjoying their weekend. I hope everybody is, you know, prepared, ready for Eagles training camp in a few days, especially me. I've been jonesing for some football, at least some football news. I mean, the only bit of news we had, like, since OTAs is really Dennis Kelly signing. I mean, other than that, that's pretty much it. It's all we've really been dealing with so far. Um, so I kind of wanted to talk about, obviously, the running back position in general and, and and i you know this was a statistic from obviously earlier i think like beginning of july something like that talking about obviously um the annual percentage yield of you know all the eagles running backs combined compared to what miles sanders uh apy is going into uh this year Okay, and um, the numbers are very, very close. Okay, um, you know, the Eagles don't like to spend. We all know that running back position is not, you know, they don't want to put too much money into that. You know what I mean? And uh, the number one position for the Philadelphia Eagles on both sides of the football is the trenches, and that's where it all starts. And I'm so glad this is just a team that really puts a lot of value into offensive linemen because look at what we've done so far. Um, never been stronger. I mean, literally, uh, now with Dennis Kelly added, you know, with Tyler Steen and Cam Jurgens backing up our starting offensive line right now to see what's, you know, and Jack Driscoll and some of these, these other guys that we have, um, guys that know multiple positions, which is a great thing. Um, you don't have to spend, you know, a top, you know, you don't have to go top 10 for a running back as much as I wanted. Bijan Robinson, you know, obviously that was a different story, but, um, you know, you just have a favorite player and you want him, and, you know, you just know the Eagles don't value that position too much. You just have to accept what it is. Um, with this team and what Howie Roseman does. So I think that's really important going into all of it. Um, you know, DeAndre Swift, Rashad Penny, uh, Kenneth Gainwell, and Boston Scott. And even looking at guys like Kennedy Brooks that's on the practice squad right now and seeing what some of these other guys like Trey Sermon could do. Um, even though I know that maybe those other two guys will not start for the Eagles or get any playing time unless there's injury. But, um, you know, to have DeAndre Swift in a trade for a 25 fourth round pick and you get him for absolutely nothing thing and he only counts like what a 1.7 to 1.8 against the cap this year which is absolutely fantastic um to be the focal point back and what he could do and i think you know obviously with deandre swift his biggest ability his two probably big abilities is probably his vision and number two is um catching the ball out of the backfield being a dual threat back and i think being with a mobile quarterback which he has never been with really since high school that read option um you know rpo system you know even uh, putting him in, in that exchange itself is going to be so hard to defend especially with all the other weapons you have on this team right now i think really the biggest question going into all of it I mean, at the end of the day, I think it's really Rashad Penny. I, I like, well, how are they going to use Rashad Penny? You know, he's a bigger back and can take some hits and welcomes the physicality, uh, runs between the tackles so well, so good in open space, can make guys miss. I mean, just so good. And once he gets vertical, he gets into a next shift of speed. Um, and trust me, he's done some damage to us over the past few years. He's done some damage to us. And, and really, th it's just a big what if with this group, okay? Not necessarily Kenneth Gainwell. Is Kenneth Gainwell going to be focused out? You know, maybe not as focused anymore like he was last year. Um, as much as I think Kenneth Gainwell has been getting better and better every single year. Obviously, they kind of really trusted, really since Nick got here, they really trusted Kenneth Gainwell a lot more with catching the football out of the backfield than Miles Sanders. That's just the truth. 
um, to all of it. And Rashad Penny, like I said, I think is the most important one because I don't know how they're going to use him. Are they going to use him for a finisher at the end of games, tire out defenses? Um, they could do so much with him as well. And I think you have a variety of different skill set type backs. Um, you know what I mean? Like, and you're not going to remember Miles Sanders anymore. <laughs> I mean, that's just what it is. Um, as much as I appreciate what Miles Sanders has done, that realistically the Eagles weren't going to pay him $6 million a year, which was very affordable. And, I, you know, and they could have got it done. And I, I totally understand that. But when you're putting so much into your offensive line, you don't need – I'm not saying you could plug in any running back into this system, but – you can almost do that, you know, and, and as long as they have somewhat of a, you know, a good skill set where they don't have to be a top tier player, they could be like a mid tier to between low to mid tier type player and still be very, very productive in this offense. Because if you can get DeAndre Swift or Rashad Penny or Kenneth Gainwell to the second level every single time, every single time they run the ball, it's going to be amazing. And I can't actually wait to see the check downs from Jalen Hurts to see like, you know, if nobody's open, he checks the ball down to Penny or Swift or Kenneth Gainwell and see what they can do in open space it's it's gonna be it's very unfair and i think compared to 2017 compared to these other years that we've had um with running backs i mean these guys stay healthy i, I mean i think one of these guys is gonna be a thousand yard back not kenneth gainwell but i feel like i think swift can be a thousand yard back when 100 percent healthy rashad penny can be a thousand yard back uh, being 100 percent healthy i think i think there's a good group here like like i said like swift swift is the lesser of the injury prone guys like he missed only three games last year so not really a big deal you know can you know obviously with rashad penny you know he only played five games last year so you kind of have to keep that in the back of your head like i'm not expecting i'm expecting these guys to do a lot of work when it comes to these joint practices when we have full gear and we're facing chicago and we're facing the colts and uh getting those joint practices in when it comes down to the preseason expect these guys to take like almost a whole like few weeks off uh you know and not playing at all and keeping these guys ready and prepared you know and obviously they're going to be doing some stuff on their own some individual stuff on their own for these running backs you know during the time and where when we have preseason to when our season does start um Especially since the schedule is so important now because the first week you face the Patriots and then you have like a double header on prime time in one week. So you have a short week going into week one to week three very fast. Um, so you have to be prepared for that short week when you have two, especially two primetime games on back to back, you know, short, you know, a, a short week, which is going to be, you know, we're going to need these running backs a lot, you know, and get that short week out of the way. I'm actually glad that it's happening really early. So we're going to be seeing three football games pretty quickly in the next, in, in those first two weeks. Um, so it's going to get, it's going to get kind of crazy. So keeping those guys fresh is going to be really important. And obviously Nick doesn't have mini camp. They're one of what, one of what the Eagles are one of three teams that doesn't have the the mini camp um you know before training camp um you know what i mean which i think has worked out i, I obviously when nick got here i was a little nervous of that and keeping these guys fresh um uh, but i think it's really I, I, so far it has really helped us tremendously um you know because you don't need to have these guys going over a hundred percent um this early in the process before the season starts i mean let these guys just work on their own between otas and training camp which a lot of these guys have been working their tails off to get prepared for training camp and get ready to get this thing going um you know he won't be in full pads for a while so you know for a little bit of time so obviously give it a, a little a little time and and you know we'll see what the real competition is going to be like when those full pads come on you know we might overextend ourselves too much when it comes to some of the news that comes out of train camp and like you know uh, with certain players and maybe playing bad or maybe we worry about certain things so i wouldn't make a big deal but not to go off topic with all that but with the running backs i think it's going to be very very important for at least going into training camp and keeping these guys fresh for the first two weeks of the season which in two weeks you have three games technically you know what I mean? I don't even think I think you're I think the Patriots game is a middle afternoon game and then you got two prime times. I think after that I could be wrong. I thought the first two weeks you have like three games, uh, which is kind of nuts. So on short weeks, keeping the running backs fresh and I can't wait to see what they have in store and what Brian Johnson has done um, in his resume, what he's done every time, you know, Brian Johnson has worked with quarterbacks. They became majorly successful with Shane Steichen. Jalen Hurts has become very successful, but now with Brian Johnson, that his side i think is i think he's only gonna get better and that's really scary at this point um 
due time you know we'll see what happens but um I'm, i have i have no no pressure on this offense at all like i feel like uh we're, we're gonna do really well this year and i feel like it's gonna be a high powered offense could be better than last year um getting these running backs involved in the passing game is definitely one of the most important ones um especially since brian johnson did use a lot of running backs even at florida in the passing game and may and i think you have to get these running backs involved they they have to be involved uh, you can't pick and choose it's not just kenneth gainwell catching balls anymore i think a lot of these guys guys can obviously swift could do almost anything Rashad penny can catch the ball in the backfield as well and gangwell was really doing it um you know miles sanders was just used as a pure rusher and uh you know kenneth gangwell kind of took the mantle on on catching on on getting in the passing game a little bit and i think that's what's really important too and like i said uh you can get i mean for a cheap a relatively cheap running back room right now with a lot of skill set, a lot of upside, a lot of good things happening. You know what I mean? So you never know what could happen at the end of this year. You know, you could get, you know, Rashad Penny, I don't expect to, I don't expect to be here after this year. DeAndre Swift is another one to where speculation, only speculation, speculation that, you know, uh, down the road you could see an extension because I think Swift is going to be one we have to keep our eyes on this year because he's, you know, is he's, he's He's due for a contract after this year, obviously last year of his deal. And, uh, you know, is only 24 years old. I mean, you, you can't, it's really hard to let go of a guy. It's not like it's not. It's not like we're. It's not like we're. We're picking up a twenty-eight to thirty-year-old running back right now. You know, like I totally understand that one hundred percent. So, uh, just I just wanted to kind of go over that and why it's important to keep these running backs fresh throughout training camp, preseason. Not really doing too much with them because the first two weeks of the season is going to be kind of crazy. So you want to keep these guys as fresh as possible. Keep the rotation going and. You know, see who looks good in this offense. I'm I'm excited. I hope all of them produce, and I feel like they will. The offensive line, I just I, I feel like the competition at right guard ain't, ain't going to be a big deal. I think Cam Jurgens really has that spot. To be honest with you, um, you know, because I think he he's had the most experience so far out of everybody um, as of right now, besides Dennis Kelly, obviously. But um, but other than that, guys, uh, we, you know, we had other news uh, when it comes to the Kelly Green uh, uniforms. Now, this was back like July. It was just back like early July, uh, something like that, um, or at least July 12th. And uh, even Jeff Kerr put out that, you know, the Eagles did obviously submit. They had to submit the, you know, obviously the Kelly Green jerseys on the helmet. So they had to submit that to the league and it was submitted and it was done. Um, they gave us a little bit of a teaser yesterday going through the history of the Eagles and their jer- and, and the jerseys and like they they were teasing us but they haven't come out with them yet so now I'm trying to figure out when are these jerseys actually going to come out there's been rumors that they're going to come out before training camp so the next few days it could happen um the one issue i'm having right now is i think because uh, it's all about a marketing scheme right now so what i think the eagles are going to do and i hope i'm i hope i'm 100 percent wrong on this because i don't want to wait so much longer since all these other teams are coming out with these special uniforms and these old school jerseys and and uniforms and stuff like that the eagles want to wait okay what i think is going to happen is they're going to wait for a specific game a week and a half before that game is going to be played they're going to announce these kelly green jerseys for a specific game during the season this way they know they're going i mean it's they're going to make money regardless even if they even if tomorrow they put them up on the site and they announce the kelly green jerseys uh, that they'll be a available and they were available just say they're available tomorrow like they're gonna sell out i mean it doesn't matter like whether they come out with it later in the season but i think for a marketing scheme or maybe they're gonna they're gonna know that they're gonna have to put out a, they're gonna have to make a lot of these kelly green jerseys they're, they're gonna have to put out a lot of a lot of inventory for it because it, they can't just have 200 you know they they have to sell they have to make more than what they would usually make for regular jerseys that are put up on the nfl on, on the nfl shop they're gonna have to do a lot more than that like they're gonna have to quadril or they're gonna have to double quadril probably uh the inventory they would have for these jerseys because a lot of people are gonna want them and i think they're gonna announce they're gonna announce the game for kelly green so a week and a half before a week and a half before um you know we play our next game they're going to announce for that game that we're wearing kelly greens and make it somewhat special for that game specifically and um they're gonna they're gonna make people buy them from a certain time to a certain time i'm not saying they're never going to be available they're going to they're going to force people to buy them so they wear them to that specific game which is going to cause more sales in the effort of that whole situation so um 
that's how I feel of how they're going to do it. I could be wrong. I hope I am wrong <laughs> because I wish, you know, the rumor is before training camp. It's been third party rumors before training camp. Nobody official has said they're going to come out before training camp, but a lot of third party rumors said before training camp is going to be the most realistic thing right now. So, I mean, hopefully, because I'm ready. I'll take my money right now. I'm ready to buy at least one jersey right now, at least get my hands on one uh, for now and, um, you know, get prepared and get ready and get a Kelly Green hat and all that great stuff. You know, they're going to be selling a lot of other things and see how modernized that jersey actually looks, um, you know, and to see if they modernized it or they kept it very old school. So obviously it's going to look a little different because we're, you know, we haven't worn these things in, in a long time, in a while, really. So, um, yeah. So other than that, that's pretty much it. We talked about the running back room, what I think they should be doing, obviously, between training camp and obviously the first two weeks of the season is going to be kind of nuts. They to keep these running backs fresh and excited for that room in general and obviously the cost and how much they put to the offensive line and that's why they don't value running back too much i think we all know this as eagles fans why they don't put money into that position um and uh, the kelly green uh the kelly green uniforms uh, let me know what you guys think when do you think they're going to release them do you think they're going to release them during the regular season for a specific game to make it a special moment or do you think they're just going to they're, during training camp or before training camp, they're just going to put them on, announce it, and just let people buy out of their mind. You guys let me know. Um, but other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. You guys have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Shakes what up, follow slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.